Hey folks out there in Facebook land, this is Chris <laughs> and my mom and Rumble. We're here at the uh, Ball Ground Burger Bus waiting to get seated, enjoy some good food here in Ball Ground, Georgia. We've just been enjoying sitting out here on this bench, just the two of us. Kathy is off with friends and Carrie is too, so here I am with mom. We went to the movies, see Star Trek, and so I asked mom if she would share some of her stories and uh, ask her what she wanted to tell about. So, uh, Mom, say hi to the folks out there. Hello, everybody. How are you doing tonight? <laughs> are you ready for me to tell you about elementary school love life? Yeah, well, I asked, asked Mom what she wanted to talk about, and she said that she wanted to tell a story about elementary school love life. <laughs> so, my gosh, my curiosity is up as much as all of you out there in Facebook land. So, uh yeah, Mom, what, uh, what is it that came to your mind when you... Uh... Well, I just, um, I, I mean, you know, you can love at any age, right? Oh, I yeah. Mean, yeah. You better I believe mean, it. I mean, 83, I don't get any loving, but <laughs> that, that, that doesn't mean I don't like to look. <laughs> and I do like to look. Oh, yeah. Uh, I saw you but, looking at that guy at the theater. <laughs> but I can remember in elementary school, and probably the first time... Um, well, this was unrequited love on my oh. part, but uh, there was a little red-headed boy. Oh, my. In, uh, in, I guess we were about in second, third grade. Ooh. And every day when we went out for recess, and I'd be with a girlfriend, we'd be playing and talking, and he would run up behind me with a rock in his hand. you got to watch out for those boys coming up from behind you. <laughs> And hit me in the back of the head. Oh, a rock. sign of true love. Well, it hurt. I mean, he I'll hit bet. me long. He hit me hard. I mean, not long, but hard. <laughs> Thank goodness he didn't hit me a long time. But this went on for, I don't know, several days at least. <laughs> and finally, my mother went up to school to talk to Mr. Little John, who was our principal and a very, very nice, sweet man. And he actually went out on the front step and rang a school bell. That's how old uh, I am now. I remember that. But anyway, Mama went up to have a talk with Mr. Little John about, I can't remember the little boy's name. He always wore overalls, though. And do you know what Mr. Little John told my mother? What did he tell your mother? He said, this little boy is doing that because he likes Ann. Oh, yeah. And that was his way of showing oh, yeah. his love for me. So I guess he had a talk with the with the young man, though, because he stopped sneaking up and hitting me on the back of the head. And then there was another little boy I liked. Well, let's draw the lesson out of that. So all you young men out there, if you want to show your love, <laughs> sneak up behind the girl. Hit her long and hard with a stick and a rock. I guess that's when you're so young, you don't know any other no, thing to do. No, that seems the most logical thing. Absolutely. <laughs> there was another little boy that I liked a lot, and he lived up the street a uh, little way from me. His name was Jerry Russian. I remember his name. And he was really, really cute little boy. I bet he was. And I was telling my mama about him because I liked him a lot. But then I said, but mama... He's so short. I don't want my husband to be shorter than me. So that was the end of Jerry. Sealed his fate. Said, yeah, he, he was gone. Oh, my. But I guess we're about in the fifth grade. I hope he's not watching tonight. Because oh, I do, too. But, but Jerry, I did, I, did, I did think you were very handsome, and I liked you a lot, but I didn't want to have to look down on you when we got married. There was another boy that I now that I really liked this this boy. Okay. And his name was Jack McElwain. Ooh. And I wonder like I wonder about right him a lot of times yeah, if he's still I alive. He I mean, it'd be kind of fun to talk to him. Yeah, it would be fun. He lived uh, Jack McElwain. Anybody <laughs> knows Jack McElwain? Look him up. <laughs> Mom is uh, sitting and thinking. <laughs> He lived one block over from me and lived in uh, one half of a house where uh, my paternal grandmother lived. So we played together a lot. And uh, when he got in, I guess it was the final grade of school when you get to be a patrol boy, I reckon. Ooh. 
So he man in uniform. He was oh, a patrol yeah. boy. Yeah, that'll get just, your motor running right that there. That just up to got that up to status oh, going right. around the waist and well across the chest. Woo well, he 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 was walking me home from school and he asked me if I would wear his patrol badge. Ooh, he had just right. gotten his patrol badge, so. I of course said yes. Of course. And I pinned it Who on would my not dress. Wear the belt of Jerry McElwain. <laughs> wasn't the belt? It was just the bag. Oh, the bag. Like okay. a pin. Oh, yeah. I okay. wore it like a pin. That's right. But when I got home and my mama saw that badge, I think I practically had to turn right back around and go get it to him. She was so worried we were going to run off together. I guess. Well, of course she, she was. She wouldn't let me wear that badge, and that was something you know to get a patrol boy badge when you're eight ten years old well everybody <laughs> knows what they say about those girls who wear those patrol badges willy-nilly uh, without considering it you know that reputation patrol badge uh, she's a patrol badge girl that's what they used to say about my mom oh and, and my grandmother did not want that happening so she nipped it nipped it right the there in the bud, bud. exactly yeah, well, let's yeah. see who we got watching we got oh reg griffin Reg Griffin saying he wish he had a dime for every time. Oh my goodness. Ann Burnett says one boy gave me a ring in first grade. <laughs> oh yeah. Another boy carried her books. Finally, she liked the boy in fifth and sixth grade and he had no idea. Well, tell me his name, Ann, and we'll get his name out there and who knows. Well, hi girls. I'm I'm welcome to the we club. We have uh, Clara Pantazopoulos watching. Let's see who else. Six people out there watching. All right. Oh my God. Well, I, I just thought of one more. One more. Uh, this boy's name was Granville Rainey. Granville Rainey. And another. his grandfather uh, was a preacher and married my mom and daddy. Oh. And every Valentine's Day, of course, we had Valentine box in our rooms, and all the kids brought Valentines and put it in the box, and then the teacher gave them out. Well, he gave me uh, a Valentine that had to be about eight or ten inches high and, oh, and wow. I mean it was a huge hard Great. valentine so I took that to mean oh he's, he likes me absolutely I mean what, what would you think girls <laughs> and I had We're, that <laughs> add your own joke here I had that in a scrapbook for years and years, but I think it's gone by the wayside now. So sorry, Granville, but I, I liked you too. So I guess that's about it for my elementary school well, loves. We got through the got through the love life stories without mentioning Bubba Battistini. He was, well, he was always a the little one, later. A little later, Bubba Battistini. We heard about Bubba Battistini <laughs> all of our lives. He's a he's a legend in the Rumble home. Well, he was probably about my first, I guess you'd call him my boyfriend. Oh yeah. But but we got, we met in MYF at, at church. He didn't go to my school. Okay. Well. But he threw my newspaper, and I would go up the street and meet him, oh. and sit on the bar, uh, on the bicycle. Y'all know what I'm talking about. What do you call? Oh it? yeah, we know what you're talking about. The, and that, that little, of course, uh, his yeah. arms were on the. So the he panels. sat on the handlebar. You sat on the handlebar. No, I sat on the bar. Oh, the, and he would wrap his arms around. Yeah, you. he had to hold on to. Of the course, handles. he had to hold on. <laughs> and one time, my uncle wow. and aunt were visiting. Reg and, Griffin and, says and, that's scandalous, and I would agree. <laughs> My uncle and aunt were visiting, and they saw us coming down the street on the bicycle. And my mama told me later that Uncle John said, "Do you let Ann do that with that boy?" So I was already the of talk course. of the neighborhood, you know. In Columbus, Georgia, 19, late 1930s, early 40s, <laughs> no girl wanted to be labeled the patrol badge bicycle bar riding girl because everyone knew what that bicycle riding leads to so uh you don't want to be that okay so a battery's about to run dead and hopefully they're going to call us in here at the burger barn the burger bus we're having a blast here in ball ground georgia <laughs> and uh my mom she has a great stories i love her stories i love her too she's a she's a great lady great mom and uh, one of the things my mom and i love to do is to sit and tell stories so we're glad that you guys got to join us tonight so, we'll see you later. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>